Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to art day two. Uh, we're going to do some drawing exercises today while you're waiting to meet with me. Hopefully you've got your piece of art ready to show me so we can talk about it. Uh, so let's get right to it. Go to my document camera. Got a clean sheet of paper here. This is what we're going to start with. Um, let me adjust so it looks the same to you and me. All right, so got a sheet of paper. What we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna do some, just some repetition in drawing. So I'll show you some small examples that I've got here. So this is a piece uh, where all I have done, if you look closely, is I have repeated the lines. They're different lengths, uh, I use different thicknesses of pen, uh, but this is just repetition of line. Uh, so that's one example. Here's another example. So this again is, uh, I'm using like some pens, different colored pens, but the repetition is circles. Uh, so circles around circles and you can see layer upon layer way down in there. There's, uh, you know, I, so this was another, just another example of exercise and repetition. Also want to point out how small these pieces of paper are. So the work that you're going to do today, I want you to do in small confined spaces. Um, and then I'll show you one more example of similar. I also uh, I used water on this. I wanted to see what would happen to the markers. But these were this was a repetition. It's not circles within circles. This is actually spirals. So repetition of spirals. So just some different examples. Uh, if you only have pencil, then work with pencil. That's just fine. Let's start with our sheet of paper. So I've got this full sheet of paper here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create those small spaces. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm just going to fold this paper. So I'm going to fold it in half. I like to uh, take my thumbnail and my fingernail across it to make nice sharp creases. Uh, I'm going to fold this piece of paper in half. Same thing, making a nice sharp crease along that edge. Uh, and then I'm going to fold this piece of paper in half. Uh, so if you're if you're like, oh, I missed those steps, uh, not a huge deal. That's why it's a video. You can run it back, play it again. Uh, but you can see what I have done essentially is I have created these small confined spaces that we will use for our drawing exercise. So I'm going to open that piece of paper up. And now you can see I've got a nice little grid here. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And uh, let's see, let's zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can see what it is that I want to show you. And then I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start the exercise. So I've got a pencil here. Not a special drawing pencil or anything, just an old number two Dixon Ticonderoga. You can do a whole lot of wonderful drawings with just this pencil. Uh, and then I'm just going to choose one of these rectangular spaces. Uh, and you can choose any kind of activity uh, or any kind of drawing, but I just want you to kind of repeat that movement again and again. So for this one, I'm just going to choose small circles, maybe different size circles, but I'm going to choose smaller ones. I've chosen, so I'm making up some rules kind of as I go. So if you're looking closely, let me zoom in even closer here for you. Um, so kind of the rule that I've made up here, and I'm just, like I say, as I'm, as I'm going, I'm, I'm making this up, is that these circles should not touch. I'm not being overly concerned about making these circles uh, perfect. But I'm going to complete, I'm going to fill in this entire space with just those circles. And you might say, why? <laughs> Which is a fair question. Uh, you'll learn something uh, just through the practice of repetition. So maybe you'll become better at drawing small circles. Maybe you'll recognize within the exercise of what you do that um, there's something about this that is appealing. So maybe like you'll see, oh, I like the way this looks. I could use this as a shading technique perhaps. Um, there are lots of drawing applications where repetition of the same movement uh, is very important uh, for 
example, cross-hatching. That is an important repetition. Uh, so again, the goal, and if I was going to continue this work, and I probably will, is to fill up this entire space, just like these other pieces that I did, fill up the entire space. I promise you, having done this drawing, I got to a certain point where I was like, am I really going to fill up every little nook and cranny uh, with line? And I felt like I was not going to do it. Uh, and I'm actually noticing right now there's a tiny little space there where I did not. I'll go back and do that. <laughs> um, but that's what I want you to do. Show you just uh, maybe one more example. So uh, this one's kind of a larger scale. So again, I'm practicing repetition of the same kind of mark across the entire space. What might I gain from this one? So I'm drawing long straight lines. I'm drawing them very close together. All of this is useful in the bigger scheme of making drawings. Going to fill that entire square with just these straight lines like that. And then I might come back. So if you look at some of these other ones, here's a good example. Uh, layer upon layer. So still the same. So every single mark in here is the same kind of mark, the same idea for mark. Uh, but then I started to build up those marks in different layers. So that's something else that we might do. But for today, for your purposes in this class period, while you're waiting to meet with me, I want you to do some repetition. Uh, of some sort of mark inside a small space. All right, thanks. Go to work.